Well, sometimes the way to success in life isn't one that's planned. Yeah, Utah man's reached unparalleled heights on an international stage where he never predicted he'd be competing. The special Sandra Adams now with a story from Spanish Fork. Of all the training that takes place at a gym. That's my personal time. I don't have to worry about anything else. Joshua Smith's workout. Incorporated with some upper body weight work. Doesn't look much different. Get on the rowing machine. Until it's finally time to pedal off to something else. And so I have people come up and ask like, the question, what, why do you have a basketball wheelchair? Using round wheels to play round ball is anything but routine. It's a different game because now you're stuck in a chair. So you're using your core and your upper body to shoot the ball, to maneuver, to learn how to push a wheelchair, learning how to play defense with a chair. It's extremely fun. And how Smith took up the game of wheelchair basketball is anything but the average story. I served 13 years active duty in the United States Air Force. A story that took an unexpected turn in survival school. I was kind of shoved down in the ground in a small culvert for about a half hour, and I felt a tear in my hip. Uh, my back went out on me. I had issues with my neck. I felt my sh a tear in my shoulder. Despite an injury appearing obvious from the outset. I had cadre instructors, you know, Sergeant Smith, what's wrong with you? You're kind of hobbling and limping around. Smith fought military care for six years until he couldn't any longer. Went in and sat down with a hip specialist and he says, hey, you need full bilateral hip replacements. Those injuries. I've got four discs in my back that need to be fused together. Place Smith on a path he never could have predicted. I was introduced to the Air Force's Wounded Warrior Program. They have adaptive sports. The program pointed Smith toward competing in the Warrior Games. And those were for any wounded, ill, injured service members and disabled veterans. And eventually, to the international stage. The Invictus Games were originally created by Prince Harry, and I went to Australia in 2018 and competed for my first time in the Invictus Games. Smith was an instant success. I competed in uh, wheelchair basketball, wheelchair rugby, so five different uh, adaptive sports that I did, and I was fortunate enough to come home with eight total medals. In games held earlier this year, Smith came home with eight more. I couldn't even have dreamt of some of the experiences and opportunities that I've been, I've been given uh, through adaptive sports. What he's learned from his journey weighs heavily on him today. Life is not about what I can do, can't do, but life is about what I still can do. That message is now something he shares by example. Every day, he shoots hoops from a wheelchair seat. If I inspire one person, that's a success for me. When life receives an unfavorable bounce, anyone can still drive toward success. And it's about living life to the fullest with the best way that we know how and about doing everything that we still can do. Andrew Adams. It makes it all worth it. Castle 5 News.